Hey guys, Brooks here at Pop Spot. How did Chevy Chase lead me to questioning who's inside this porta potty? Let's find out as we get lost on the internet. So this time of year, sledding is all the rage, and there's plenty of fail videos out there, but I wanted to find some of the more creative sledding attempts. Like, I remember this one guy in college flew down a hill on top of a bunk bed. That didn't go well at all. He banged himself up pretty good, but that's not uncommon. I read that 20,000 kids are injured every year from sledding, and 9% of those suffer brain injuries. But this guy seems to be on top of it. He's taped a helmet to his head, along with two bottles of beer. This is Drunk Chef Jeff uh, telling all the children at home and not even at home, wherever they are. Pretty much <laughs> do not attempt this. And he's also got this toddler's crib for sledding. Not much happened, but he seemed to enjoy himself. We got some momentum going. Oh, shit. That's a tree. Ah. <laughs> so I couldn't find a bunk bed sled, but now I'm watching a guy sled on the hood of a car. That was pretty cool. Then this other guy's sledding behind a train and being a bad influence at the same time. Top comment says, I'm so gonna try this with my cousins. But then this one impressed me. This guy froze a bath towel to make a sled out of it, and he even made the curvy part, which I looked up. It's called a brush bow. Well, it's negative 11 with negative 27 wind chill. And, uh, it's... And he got better results with a towel than the guy did with a crib. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, I'm pretty much just looking for the real-life equivalent of Chevy Chase from Christmas Vacation, because that's the fastest sledding I've ever seen. Let her rip, ain't pen. So I looked that up, and the fastest non-motorized sled was clocked at 62 miles an hour. And sure enough, that's on YouTube. That guy's got some good speed, but I'm pretty sure Chevy's got him beat, especially since he crosses four lanes of traffic and ends up in a Walmart parking lot. Which reminds me, if you add Walmart to pretty much any search term, it's usually more interesting. You're gonna fall. See? So I see that girl's using a toilet seat cover. Toilet sledding, that's gotta be a thing, right? It definitely is, and this toilet got so much speed, it self-destructed on the way down. <laughs> So now things are getting good. In the related videos, I'm watching a porta potty fly downhill, and not only that, there's two guys in this thing manning the puppets. But two guys in a porta potty is nothing compared to like 40 people in a two story pub sled. This is like the greatest thing ever. It's a sledding competition where everything is made out of cardboard. You got Stay Puff Marshmallow Man with some guy holding up the crotch. There's the 1980 Miracle on Ice Olympic hockey team all in their penalty box. These people are going all out and no one's pretending that this is safe. There is no guarantee that we will be alive by the end of the. I even got to see another toilet sled, only this time there's two kids in the bowl. But they had to take cover because they were about to slam some kids in the back. I guess that's just three of the 20,000 sledding injuries from that year. What about you guys? Do you have any wild sledding stories? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to keep getting lost, check out our last episode about worst Santas on the web. This one guy says his customers call him BSE, which stands for Best Santa Ever but then he includes a picture of some kid crying his lungs out. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to PopSpot if you haven't already, and I'll see you here every Wednesday when we get lost on the internet.